I spent my morning with Vanessa relaxing in our matching Grey's Anatomy leggings, watching our favorite show, and now I'm spending my evening sharing my grocery haul with you. What is up you guys? Happy Tuesday, happy grocery haul day. My name is Kira if you are new and every single Tuesday here on the channel I share with you my grocery haul and my meal plan for my family of six and this week is no different. I did a Walmart's grocery pickup which is pretty much my ride or die if I'm not doing like a bigger box store like Sam's or Costco or maybe a specialty store like Trader Joe's or Sprouts but this time I just have my trusty Walmart's grocery pickup and it is quite minuscule if you guys just saw I shared with you a bonus grocery haul on Saturday where I spent 900 plus dollars at Sam's Club and Walmart so if you guys missed that make sure you go check it out last week's Tuesday's grocery haul was kind of like a before and after vacation so it was more like cumulative clips my big mamma jamma was on Saturday so if you missed it go check that out but being that I kind of stocked up on some things I didn't really need a whole lot for this week but I still have it to share with you and a super delicious meal plan. So make sure you stay tuned for that. All right, before we get into the groceries, let's just talk a giveaway. So I do host a giveaway every single week on the channel, a little grocery giveaway. It's nothing big. It's just a little thank you for coming back every single week and supporting us in another grocery haul. But all you have to do to enter is comment down below, whether it's my husband's mystery item, like his secret item that he picked for the week, or maybe it's just something I've prompted you to say. Two weeks ago, our winner was Cozy Kitten, and she's wrote to me, and she told me like all of her information, her address and everything, but she didn't let me know where she would like a gift card to, and you guys get to choose. So if you are watching this video, Cozy Kitten, I've wrote you, and you haven't written back. So go ahead and email me and let me know where you'd like your gift card to, and I'll go ahead and get that out to you. Otherwise, last week's uh, mystery item from Daryl was the Ruffle Potato Chips. He had asked for that like a couple weeks before but he only got to take it like one time for lunch and then the kids pretty much devoured it well mostly Maya with dip because that seems to be her new thing but he wanted more of those again he probably would have chose something different but like I said Sam's Club was completely depleted so I had to just pick one of the things that he asked me for and that was pretty much the only thing I was able to bring home for him that he put on his list. But this week he does have another mystery item, you guys. So make sure you put your comments down below for what you think his item is for this week. And the winner for last week that pulled the ruffles was Melody Calligan. I hope I'm saying that right, but I'm gonna go ahead and put your um, comment right here on the screen. But go ahead, congratulations, send me an email and I'll get a gift card out to you guys as well. But all right, you guys, go ahead, throw those mystery item guesses down below, and now let me share with you the grocery haul. And like I said, make sure to stay tuned for the super yummy meal plan. Okay, you guys, that's $101.36. This is all we really needed to get us through the week, especially since I went to Sam's Club later in the week last week. And I did pick up some things even for next week because I made my meal plan for like six or eight weeks or something like that and next week i'm going to go to trader joe's and i know there are some things i can't necessarily always get there so i already picked that stuff up for next week as well but we will jump right in so being that there was absolutely zero cold cuts when i went to sam's club i did get some of the cold cut but this is the chicken i feel like we've had turkey and ham so often that i figured i would switch it up and we got chicken this time got a seedless a watermelon i don't know why i was just in the mood for watermelon but i figured i would give it a try no large hopes though it's very late in the season well not in season at all but you know what i mean uh, two meals for Jake, one of the Marie Collinders, a fried chicken buffalo style mac and cheese, and then this one's just a creamy Vermont, the kid loves his mac and cheese. Two coffee creamers, one of the International Delight, the Almond Joy, and then one of the Great Value Chocolate Caramel. I think we still have like one of the chocolate raspberry and then one peppermint bark, so we should be good at least for uh, a couple of weeks. 
And then I got one of the cultured buttermilk. I have to make ranch. One of you guys asked to see ranch, even though I have it in a ton of meal prep videos, I have one coming up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that in there. Uh, two pack of cream cheese. My daughter has been loving the onion dip, so I grabbed that. We're doing quesadillas tonight, so I got the Taco Bell Zesty Ranch. It's the shredded Monterey Jack cheese with a little bit of ranch seasoning. It's the actual Taco Bell brand cheese. Sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't, but the stuff is fantastic. So it's gonna be great in quesadillas tonight. One large regular cucumber, a bag of gala apples, a 2% gallon of milk, a bag of mini cucumbers. I also got a thing of mushrooms. I need that for a recipe this week. I picked up the Pepperidge Farm onion rolls. Next week we're gonna do RB sandwiches, but I can't necessarily get onion rolls from Trader Joe's. So I grabbed this to throw in the freezer for next week. And then to go along with our quesadillas tonight, I got two packages of the Mahatma yellow rice. I've mentioned, I think in a recent What's For Dinner video, that you cook this in the microwave. And I never would have thought to cook rice in the microwave but this stuff cooks incredible it's just a little bit of water it's already seasoned and you just put it in there in like a tupperware that's slightly vented and you put it in the microwave for like 15 minutes and it comes out the lightest fluffiest yellow rice with this amazing flavor everybody in my family loves it and not everybody are rice people so i highly suggest that if you have not given that a try one of the Welch's Natural Concord Grape for sandwiches, a bunch of bananas. I got Hubby Easy Cheese. Like, you guys, what were you thinking? You know that I'm supposed to pick this up for every one of the holidays, and you guys forgot to remind me, and I didn't get it for Valentine's Day. And so I put, like, all of Daryl's stuff out on the table for Valentine's Day, and he's like, what would have been nice is a can of Easy Cheese. And I was like, oh, well, they were out of stock. Like, I put it in my cart but i didn't get it yet and so not true drop the ball on that you guys Shh, don't tell him but i am sad because i'm usually really good with that i get it all the time you guys even laugh and you know like up oh, it's a holiday daryl's getting cheese in a can and so i put it in the cart this time so i know he'll be happy to see that I did get Maya uh, mini brands. I got her one from Walmart, I think in the last grocery haul, to put with her Valentine's Day stuff. And there's five in here when they open them. And one of the ones that was in here was one she didn't have. And the box was all like crushed and all messed up. Actually, it's literally right there. Can you see the little TGI Friday spinach dip? It was all like crushed and mangled when we um, took it out of here. So she was really sad. Um, about it and I called Walmart to have it returned and they wanted me to bring it back I was like, how do you bring back a blind bag like you it surprises like you open There's nothing left after you're done opening it but garbage And so they ended up just refunding me and telling me to repurchase another one So I got her another one Hopefully she'll either get something similar or something she doesn't have because she definitely was sad that she finally got one that she didn't already have and then it got was all messed up uh, all right i tried this again to try and get boy ones and i got the baby shark but at least it's the green yellow and blue so these are definitely more like boy colors and so now i feel better i never gave one to the kids for valentine's day because i only had one for maya so i'll just do like maybe friday treats well i'll save the green one for saint patrick's day and i think i was gonna save one of maya's for um easter but then maybe i'll just do a random friday for the third one where i'll just surprise the kids with one of these special ones but these are the good to grow no sugar added 100 percent apple juices but they just have the fun like characters on the top of the squeeze bottles it's just something fun to just make them enjoy drinking out of them and i really won't be buying too much of things like that or things like this anymore which i'll talk about in just a second but anyways i went ahead and grabbed that got some orange marmalade to make those orange marmalade pork chops i'll link that recipe up above for you guys i'm not making that until next week but like i said i don't know if i can get that at trader joe's so i grabbed that now uh, picked up a loaf of a Wonder Bread. We all like had Wonder Bread at my mom's because that's the bread that they use and everybody enjoyed it. So I figured I would spoil them with some plain old white bread, which I never ever get. So I got some Wonder Bread. Uh, got the Great Value Ginger Ale. It said 12 pack, but then in parentheses, it said two pack. So I was kind of confused and I was wondering if it was maybe a glitch in the system and I was gonna get two 12 packs. So I put it in my cart just to see 
and I didn't. I only got one, but that's okay. I don't have any other ginger ale, and I definitely enjoy like a ginger ale in the middle of the night. I have awful heartburn, and I really feel like it helps. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I uh, got an everything bread. The whole car smelled like this. When we opened the trunk, Daryl was like... You got everything bread, didn't you? And I actually forgot that I got this. I didn't even need it. This was like pure habit to just see it and put it in my cart and hope that I get it. And I got it and it's so fresh. Look at that, you guys. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Uh, and then I got some angel hair pasta. I'm making meat sauce on Friday. And you guys, every pasta was out of stock. I'm not sure if that's like just some kind of manufacturing issue right now. If it's COVID related, what I spoke about this for my Sam's Club. But I'm really surprised at what things right now are just just not in the stores it really is a problem like grocery shopping because it's unbelievable how things are still so incredibly impacted and pasta was one of them I could only get all different kinds of spaghetti and fettuccine everything else if, if it's still like that on the website I'll put screenshots up right here for you guys to see that every pasta I tried to get rigatoni penne rotini everything just literally out of stock out of stock out of stock so we ended up with angel hair and we're gonna have spaghetti and meatballs uh with my homemade and meat sauce on friday uh, i got mason his great value cookie deep dipped chocolate cones again it's not his favorite favorite but for the price it works out good and we're almost out of ice cream uh, i got the organic 100 percent juice the honey crisp style apple juice and although i do get juice like often and stuff there's a reason for that which ties in with this so like i said i'll talk about that one second uh lastly i got some of the dawn antibacterial uh dish soap and the apple scent because i love the dawn platinum and their apple scent is so so good um but believe it or not i'm out of all that stuff it's been right around a year like i figured it would be that i got from pure and gentle for free for doing uh getting my water softener but we have four more vouchers so i need to send away for my voucher i keep forgetting but i need to send away for it because I have been only using their dish soap for the past year and now I'm out. So I went ahead and grabbed this for now, but I need to place that order. And then I got the Ocean Spray Cran Grape. There's six 10 ounce bottles in here. I just thought that was something different. My kids love grape juice and they like cranberry juice. So I thought one of these would be a switch, but I went on to TikTok. I mentioned this on my Instagram. If you guys are not following me, come follow me over there. But I mentioned on my Instagram that I went on to TikTok just to like get my little notification bubble to go away because it was annoying me. And as soon as I turned it on, it was this very satisfying video of this girl by the name of Katherine Benson. And she was just restocking the snack drawer in her refrigerator. And for three minutes, I stood there in awe and just watched her clean this thing out and stock it for every kid's delight with every cheese stick, Lunchable, applesauce, Danimal yogurt, juice box, you name it. But some of the things that she did was she bought these little bottles on Amazon. So I'll, I have all the stuff linked in my Amazon store which is down below if you guys want to check it out but I'm on this whole like mindset of organizing my refrigerator so I ordered a whole bunch of these bottles and from now on I'm just gonna get like the big bottles of smoothies the orange juice the apple juice and stuff and I'm just gonna fill these little reusable bottles myself I can even get like Gatorades, I can make homemade smoothies, I can do all of that, and I'm just going to use these little reusable bottles. The kids find that these are perfect for them. It's just enough drink. Sometimes juice boxes are not enough, but this is just enough drink, and I love the idea of being able to do the variety. So that's why I got the apple juice, I got that, I have the double pack of orange juice I just got from Sam's Club. I always make my own smoothies, so like I said, I can do that for the kids and stuff, but I'm really excited about just kind of like doing my own drinks because you guys know if you follow me you know juice boxes have been the struggle i cannot find juice boxes it's always i've been relying on gatorade and things because i just can't find what i'm looking for i'm buying other water bottles and just to send them in with juices and stuff because i can't you know i can't get what i need so hopefully that's going to be um you know something that works out for us and stay tuned i'll have probably a lot of organizational videos coming up i don't know if you guys saw don't mind us right now you guys if you've been following me you know that i had the struggle with my refrigerator and my freezer is acting up again paul is defrosting it he's off today and he's defrosting it for me but uh you can see that this has been my thing lately all these clear bins from iDesign this is one of the new ones that I just got that I shared on my Instagram that I bought from that girl I shopped her 
Amazon store and went nutso because these things were just so cool. I have animals in there and yogurt and cheese sticks and like all of our other stuff is organized all in these bins. And so I have a lot of projects that I'm going to take you guys along with to share with you all these like things that I've been purchasing to organize. But all right, you guys, that's it. I've chit chatted with you long enough. Let's get into this week's super yummy meal plan. All right, you guys, so here is the meal plan for Monday, February the 14th through Sunday the 20th. So yesterday was a Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you guys out there. We actually did heart-shaped donuts from Dunkin' Donuts. That's what the kids really wanted, and they were kind of full on donuts and candy. Of course, it was a holiday, so we skipped on lunch, and we did leftovers for dinner. Uh, usually Mondays are Pop-Tarts, but because we had donuts and stuff, I allowed them to have it today, and they barely split one. They just really weren't hungry before school this morning, but Jake did have his. And then for lunch, they had peanut butter and Nutella, which you guys will see in Friday's lunch video. And then for this uh, tonight's dinner, we did quesadillas with the blackened chicken strips from Costco, and then the yellow Mahatma rice. Tomorrow we're going to do a cereal. Maya asked for ramen for lunch and then we're going to do a breakfast casserole and like all the different kinds of breakfasty foods that I have in the uh, freezer so we can use those up. Uh, on Thursday we're going to do bagels for breakfast. For lunch the kids will do ham roll-ups which again you guys will see on Friday and then for dinner we're going to do chicken Caesar salad with some sandwiches just to kind of use up like our lunch meat and stuff as we're drawing towards the end of the week. Friday, the kids are gonna do plain old PB&J for breakfast that really worked out well last week. I felt like it was like something really good to send them with. I felt good about them each having a half of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in the morning. Um, they're gonna have pizza for lunch and then for dinner, we're gonna do meat sauce. I'm gonna make a big pot that day and we'll do that angel hair spaghetti with meatballs. On Saturday, we're gonna do a pancakes. Again, I have a bunch of stuff in the freezer. On a Saturday, we're gonna do a fish sticks, and then um, we're gonna do for dinner that night the Alice Springs chicken. I think it's the Outback dupe, if I'm not mistaken. And then um, we're gonna do that with my orzo. I might even have a cooking video for it. So if I do, I'll link it up above for you guys. And then on Sunday, we'll do eggs in the morning or our free for all for breakfast. We're gonna do chicken sandwiches for lunch. And then for dinner, I'm gonna put in a roast beef and we'll do like roasted potatoes and veggies. I've stopped like writing veggies on here because it's really just me and Maya, sometimes Jake, that eats the veggies. So it's really just whatever we're in the mood for that day that I feel like having that, you know, we end up throwing onto the side of our meal. But that, you guys, is it for another grocery haul and meal plan. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.